Well, the other day I showed you guys how I made that AK-47 model. And today I'm going to show you guys how to put some procedural materials and some textures on this thing to make it look a bit more realistic and complete. But let's keep this concise so I'm going to get right into the tutorial. Now, whenever you want to work with shading or textures or materials, the first thing you want to do is go up here and select the shader tab. And then Blender is just going to rearrange some of these windows to make it a little bit easier for you to work with these things. And now let's go ahead and create a new material. And when we do that, we get these two nodes. We get the principal node and the output node. And in the principal node, we're just going to set the base color to black. And we're also going to set the metallic to 0.7. And we're going to do the same thing for the specular. Now we're going to add another node, which is called the noise texture node. And we're going to take the factor from this node and we're going to plug that into the roughness. And let's turn the scale down to like 2.5. And let's crank the detail up a little bit to about 10.5. And we're also going to increase the roughness by a little bit to like 6.75. Next, we're going to go ahead and add in a color ramp node. And we're going to move the black marker to about 0.2 or 0.21. And this controls the specularity of some of these areas in the gun. And it creates a texture which is partially specular and partially rough. Now we're also going to add two more nodes. The first one's going to be a texture coordinate node and the second one's going to be a mapping node. And we're going to plug the object from the texture coordinate node to the mapping vector. And from the mapping node, we're going to plug the vector into the noise texture vector. And now you can see that kind of redistributes this texture across the object and makes it look a little bit more realistic. Now let's select all these four nodes and duplicate them and move them above. Then we're going to go to this new color ramp and we're going to set the black marker back to zero. And we're going to plug the color into metallic. We're going to set the scale on the new noise texture node to like 16 and the detail to about 5.3. And we're also going to turn the roughness all the way up. Now if you want to, you can play around with some of these other settings, and maybe you get a better result for your purpose. But for me, I think this is good enough. You can also increase the specularity on some of these specs on the texture by turning up the black marker and the color ramp for the roughness. And that pretty much does it for our gunmetal material. Now we're going to select some of these other parts which should have the same material. That's going to be a magazine, the trigger, the bolt. We're going to select all those, and we're going to select the object which already has the material. And we're going to press Ctrl L, and we're going to create a material link. And that way, all the other parts are also going to have the same material. Now some parts of the gun should have a different material, and that's going to be our wooden material. So we're going to select our buttstock, and we're going to create a new material which we're going to assign to that. We're also going to try to select everything in the handguard. Just take your time because you want to be as precise as possible with this. And we're also going to go ahead and select our handguard. And let's go ahead and assign that material to all those objects. Now before you do anything else, go over to your user preferences and go to the add-ons menu, and then type in Wrangler. And then you just want to turn on the Node Wrangler add-on. And this just makes it a little bit easier to make these three nodes together. So you select the principal node, and then you press Ctrl T, and it brings out all these three nodes. And this is the basic setup for texturing. Now the first thing you want to do is plug the object from the texture coordinate into the vector for mapping. And then we're going to open up our wood texture. You also want to make sure you set the mapping from flat to box. And you can see this kind of creates a nice wooden texture. Now I think this texture is a little bit too detailed, so I'm going to decrease the scale. I'm going to decrease the scale to about 0.3 on all the axes. And I'm also going to change the location of the texture just to get rid of this line that we had in the middle of the buttstock. Now if you're happy with this, you can leave it at that, but I'm also going to add a roughness texture. Now if you want to add a specular map, the first thing you have to do is create a black and white version of the same picture that you use for the texture. So I'm going to hop into PaintNet, I'm going to open up the picture, and I'm literally just going to make it black and white. And I'm going to save that, and when I open that up in Blender, I can use it as a specular map. So I'm going to select the principal node again, and I'm going to add another node, Wrangler. And once again, let's plug the object to the vector. And this time, we're going to open up the same texture, but this time it's in black and white. And you want to change the color space to non-color data. And when you plug that into your roughness, you can see now not every part of the wooden texture is equally as shiny anymore. And you can manipulate this using a brightness and contrast node. So just put that in between your specular map node and your roughness. And I'm going to put the brightness to about 0.3, and I'm going to put the contrast to about 1. Now we're also going to want to texture the bullets here. I don't want to go too far into detail with this. I'm just going to add a new material here, and I'm going to make it orange. And I'm going to turn the metallic and the specular all the way up. I'm also going to reduce the roughness a little bit. Now the color for the casing is alright, but I want a slightly different material for the actual bullet. So I'm going to add a new material, which I'm going to assign only to the bullet tips. So I'm going to select those bullet tips, and I'm going to hit Assign there. And I'm just going to make this color a little bit more red. I'm going to do the same thing with the others. I'm going to turn up the metallic and the specular, and I'm going to drop the roughness down. And that's how you put some procedural materials on a gun. Now I think in the Blender Material Preview, this looks really nice. I think it's pretty good for some rendering. And I think you can do this for any gun in under 10 minutes. Well, I hope that helps you guys. 
I've got another video coming on how to UV unwrap and texture this gun. Now that's going to be more useful if you want to export this into a game engine like Unity, because game engines aren't going to recognize procedural materials from Blender. But thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you around.